Yo, what's poppin' ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo and welcome back to another community card concept video. Before we start off, I would like to tell everyone we're doing a 3500 crown giveaway. If you're interested in that, just go down in the description. There's some links down there that you can click to enter. And yeah, let's get started. We are going to be reviewing a card called Hypnosis. Hypnosis is a moon spell, moon spell card. Uh, it's four pips and it removes all shields and your target helps you for one round. So this is a pretty interesting card. Uh, it, it turns a utility card into a more of a, uh, a super utility card, if you will. It's pretty much a shatter with a beguile, if you, if you, uh, if you will. Right off the back, uh, I don't think I would use this card, mainly because there's no point in the beguile. Um, usually when you shatter you you shatter and that's pretty much all you want out of the shatter You don't really care about the beguile and on top of that most of the time when you shatter you're shattering a boss and usually bosses They're uh, they're immune to being beguiled now in terms of pvp. I'm not so sure uh, I don't know if people use shatter and pvp um but in the PvE situations, I'm pretty sure this won't be used, especially since it's a moon spell card. So it wouldn't really be four pips, it would really be eight pips. Um, you know, since there's no moon mastery amulet. Uh, so it, it, it'll be a lot more pips than usual. Um, and I'm not so sure about the whole Beguile situation. I think I'd rather just use a shatter uh, if, if I needed a, a shatter. But yeah, I don't think I would use this, if I'm being honest. I think it's a good spell, though. Uh, I like the name Hypnosis uh you know you, you hypnotize the enemy and then they uh you know you control them and you get the or they they is basically on your team now um so I, I like the concept of it um if i were to change just to make it a little bit better i would probably not make it a moon spell um i'd probably make it possibly a, another miss spell or or better yet uh, i would make them a miss spell and it'll be an upgraded version of shatter so it would be a spell of mental version of shatter where you could um change it to uh, beguile your enemies for one round and you also remove all your targets so it's basically just an upgraded shatter um that might be a little bit too overpowered maybe if people really use shatter in pvp like that it might be overpowered but i still wouldn't see someone using this in a pve situation because beguiles don't work on bosses all right let's take a look at the comments and see what other people said uh this guy said i think it's cool because the hypno uh, the hit it hypnotizes the target i i think it should do more to make them uh, vulnerable taking away shields kind of makes me think oh now they're exposed i think the spell should make them more vulnerable so maybe putting a universal trap would be a good addition i feel like that would make a lunar four pip spell much more worth it but i don't know if you can fit that description on the card itself he also said i think the beguile fits super well i love the design and the concept i think the hardest part will be finding something good for the main arc maybe a creature that screams moon school uh so maybe a centurion uh centurion i think doing some trippy illusion would work now he does have a point here with the the, the trap uh instead of having it beguile your enemy you remove all shields and then you put a trap on them i think that would be better but it would take away from the concept of the spell like the hypnosis part um which you know beguile and hypnosis pretty much go hand in hand hand in hand uh, i like that and if you Take away beguile you had a trap that kind of ruins the whole hypnosis part a few people were having a conversation uh it started off with i want mind control for myth and they can literally control the enemy uh that's a bit op especially in pvp yeah cannot be seen in pvp so we're good um uh, what i'm interested in is what this guy said even then there would be no challenge in fights say like a boss uh, belog just control him and when his minions doesn't hit him he will he does uh, the 2k damage to his minion practically removing the threat and so many more examples of how any threat in this game is it's gone and if bosses can be immune to it then it's useless like stun and beguile in pve i completely agree um, i believe belloc is immune to um beguile since he is a boss i'm pretty sure almost every single boss is immune to beguile so um it doesn't remove the threat since you can't beguile him but i do agree if, if bosses were not immune to beguiles then this would remove a lot of threats uh you would basically shatter them and then you would beguile them it doesn't say how many rounds they're beguiled oh, it says one round okay so yeah i mean it does remove the threat and i think in that case it is an overpowered car but at the same time it costs you eight pips which eight pips is a lot um if i were to spend eight pips on something i would want the card to be you know somewhat good and i think this card would be somewhat good in pve situations if bosses were not immune to being beguiled but yeah there it is there's hypnosis for you uh, i appreciate you guys watching hopefully you enjoyed if you have any cars that you would like for me to review um just leave them a link down in the description i'll check them out and but yeah let me know what you guys think about this card down in the description or down in the comments my bad <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next one have a great day everybody